Hey guys, welcome back to SimTech channel. So this is a follow-up tutorial of our simple analog to digital converter where we basically design a simple analog to digital converter using an RC filter and the op amp voltage buffer. So in this tutorial, we basically adding up the display functionality to show our analog data here to display on a seven segment display in a form of a counter all right and this tutorial will be divided in two parts so the first part will be discussing the seven segment display and the second part will be the lcd display where we can actually display the decimal values as well because on the seven segment display will only display simple digit right now before we explain what's going on here between the arduino and the seven segment display as you can see we've got shift registers and a couple of resistors so let's first briefly explain the functionality of a seven segment display and the combination with a shift register before we couple it with an arduino so stay tuned let's get started a seven segment display is basically a strings of led connected in a way that when lighting up uh, each one of these segments here you can basically configure and display a digit, right? Now, all these segments, they basically represent LEDs. So, which means if you connect a 5 volt and a resistor, you can choose to light up which section of the LEDs and create your, your number. This basically means you can configure a 7 segment display and lighting it up manually using switches, right? But now we've passed that stage, we're now using microcontroller to configure the 7 segment display okay so now using a microcontroller so all you do is you use digital ios to basically decide which pins you want to turn high and low to get your decimal value display so now if i want to display number three here now let's say all these segments they basically represent a binary number okay binary number string so if i want to display number eight basically all these binary numbers they must be turn as one so i must write a one here to display number eight so if i want to display number three i must turn off f and i must turn off e to display a number three so which means if i'm writing a program i need to write e here a zero right and i need to write f also a zero that way i'm going to display digit three so by doing this you can display any value you want to now you can decide to do this manually or you can use a microcontroller to do this via a program. But now there arises another problem because all these uh, bits here, they basically represent an IO on your Arduino. Now, if you are using a microcontroller with limited number of pins, you have a problem, right? Especially if you have two of these, this digit here, you want to display a two decimal value. So you're going to run out of a pin out because you'll need double the number of pins. And this is where the shift register come into play, right? Because with the shift register, you can basically just use three IOs and connect it to the display and it will cleverly drive your seven segment display. So now let's go ahead and see how a shift register can use to basically light up the seven segment in a way that you want to get the digit that you want. A shift register is basically a serial in parallel out data devices. So basically the 74HC595 will allow us here to connect all our uh, seven segment display pins to the output port here from Q0 to Q6 as you can see here. Then we only have to deal with these three pins here. So the first one is the, the shift register clock. Okay, so this clock must synchronize to go high and low for the bits that is present here at DS to basically enter. Once all the bits have been entered, then the pin 12 must also go high and low to basically uh, output the data on the parallel port here. So as an example, if we want to display decimal number three, we know that this binary number here represent that decimal number. So now the way the shift register work here is it takes the data serially. It start loading them one by one starting from the most significant bit here, which in our case, it start by A1, B1, C1. So this is the most significant bit. So that's the first bit to enter. And the last bit to enter will be G here, which is also one. That is when all the bits are present and the clock will synchronize for them to enter. After all the bits have been entered, then 
this pin here will also be triggered to now display them on the output now if we want to test them because we're going to uh, clock here one by one manually so the shift register or the microcontroller haven't been configured to send the data at once so that the shift register can start pushing them one bit at a time so in that case we need to start entering them by the uh, by the least significant bit here right which is g1 that way when we're going to enter them the least significant bit is going to sit here and the most significant bit is going to sit here manually so let's go ahead and see how we're going to do that quickly here so i'm going to start uh the proto simulation here this is the binary number that we need to enter if we want to display uh, the decimal number three so what we're going to do here first the first we're going to enter one which is a least significant bit here so i'm going to set a one here then i'm going to trigger the clock high low then i need to move to the second bit here zero high low another zero high low then i need to enter this one one high low another one high low third one high low and the fourth one here high low now i've entered all these bits here so the next thing i need to do is now to trigger the storage register bit so that all the data that have been entered can now be displayed on the output port so let's go you can see there number three have been displayed but now this is manually right because the shift register will not understand which one is the msb and which one is the lsb so that way we're going to use the arduino code and the arduino code will we're going to use a shift out function that will already know which one will be the most significant bit and which one will be the least significant bit that way the shift register is going to deal with it in a synchronized manner and we're going to have our number display on the screen so let's go ahead and do that now let's take a look at what's going on in this schematic diagram so we've got two shift registers connected in cascade mode here if we can say so so basically each one of them driving each or one of these seven segment display so the main pin is the ds pin so that are coming in serially uh, from pin 2 of our arduino here and coming out on pin 9 here of u3 and entering uh, pin 14 of our u14 which is now the serial input of these shift registers and that is going to drive this display here and when the data overflow and reach a value of 9 and we want to display 10 then this shift register here is going to update this to one and we're going to have zero here that is what the data passing through here so we are basically counting what we need to display so then you've got the sh the shift register clock and the storage register clock must then be tied together so this is how you do it so if you want to add another digit all you have to do put that shift register here and then you move the ds onto the input of that shift register then the output of that shift register basically pin 9 must then come into pin 14 here then you add your display and then you just configure your code to basically display the third digit so that basically how you can do it by the way if you find this tutorial useful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel that would be highly appreciated now let's go ahead and update our arduino code to give it a functionality to drive the shift register so that we can display the corresponding analog voltage here for our DAC converter into the seven segment display so let's go ahead and, and see how we can do that great so this is our previous code so we need to update this code so that we can configure our seven segment display uh, as well so the first thing we're going to do here a couple of copy paste and explain as we go for the sake of time here so we first declare the variable the pins that must then be connected to our shift registers okay then we create an array of variable that will hold the values for the seven segment display now this is a tricky part so as you've seen on the example we've demonstrated how you can display number three so to display number three this is the binary number we had so we had the one zero zero one 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 okay so now if we want to send this with a shift out function for of the arduino uh, uh ide here 
we need to convert this binary number into a decimal representation so if you take this binary number here you convert it into a decimal representation it's going to be 121 now the shift out function is then going to take this 121 convert it back to binary and send it serially okay so now when we send it serially as you've seen the first bits to enter is the most significant bit but we're going to start by first pushing the least significant bit so which one you're going to start by pushing this one zero 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 and that is going to uh, display the tree as we have demonstrated so that is exactly the same thing we're doing for the all these digit here as you can see to display zero you need the middle segment which is g must be zero and that is the least significant bit here that is zero and all the other bits are set to one now this first bit here is by default set to zero as the shift register output is a eight bit but we are only connecting to the seven bits for our seven segment display so that basically what we've done here we've take the binary number equivalent for each digit and convert it to decimal number to basically form this array here then we create a float variable that is going to be holding the value of the voltage that we're converting from uh, digital to analog. In the setup function, we need to then configure these pins as output, right? Because uh, the one is going to be for the serial data and the other one will be for the clock, the shift register clock and the data storage clock. So they both must be configured as output ports on our Arduino because we're going to be sending data onto those pins. Now we get to the main loop. Now before we get to the main loop here, let's first create the function that will basically send the data onto the LCD display. So that function is going to be basically called display voltage. And here we're passing a float, right? The float, we know that it's a data type that got a decimal uh, a value as well, but we're only going to be sending a single wall digit so we're not going to be dealing with decimal parts so this is where we're going to do this computation here to basically extract the integer values only so to do that we create these two variables here the tens so the tens is the variable that will display on the second uh, segment display and the ones is the one that will display on the first one so we take a modulus of the variable voltage that is basically going to be coming from uh, this analog right here okay then once we've got our variable for the tens and the ones what we do then is we first do a digital write low remember when we were doing the test to test the, the, the shift register with proteus we first have to keep the stc which is the uh, the serial storage clock to low and then we take a shift out function so the shift out function we're shifting what we're shifting the ones this is what we are shifting okay we're shifting the ones and serially okay so whatever this value is going to be the result that we're going to get here whether it's a one two three and four that we're going to get based on this modulus operation here we're going to shift it out serially then we take the to do that we take the shcp uh pins that must now go high then we start by shifting with the least significant bit first okay once we've done that we then can also do a shift out for the tens but remember the tens here will depend on whether this one overflow otherwise it's going to be kept at zero okay now after we've done shifting all the variable then we then take this stc pin we then put it high to basically display it on the output so you've seen now i've done the example manually on so this is basically what this function is going to do for us now we come back here where we need to call this function so here we know that the analog write uh, is writing the value of the pwm that is being incremented here to the pwm pin so what we then going to do we're going to take that value we're going to map it to a certain uh, parameter so what we do is we then take the voltage variable that we created here as a float we then take a mapping function we take value and we map it from 0 to 255 that's basically what it is already limited here and then we then also map it from 0 to a thousand so 0 to 255 is going to be corresponding to 0 to a thousand 
Then we divide it by 100 so that we can be on a range of 0 to 10 fold because right now it's going to be 0 to 1000, right? That will correspond to 0 to 255. So we divide it by 100 to be on a 0 to 10 fold. Then we just take the voltage value that we obtain based on this uh, map uh, function result and we pass it onto the display voltage function okay then that is now going to take us to this function that we've already explained how it operate okay so then we basically repeat uh, the same thing onto the decreasing here because remember how analog voltage is going to go up and down based on the pwm duty circle that is also going up and down so this is basically the whole code i'm going to now uh, compile this export compile binary okay okay we are missing the type here so let's select the type so that is going into the arduino uno okay that's all we need and we can export compile binary okay so i'm going to uh, post this uh, code on github for anyone who want to access this code it's going to be on the github i will post a link on the description of this tutorial then once the compilation is completed let's now go ahead and load it onto our arduino here we need to navigate uh, where it is uh, connected so it is this file right so that's a pwm dark uno so we then need to load it in great now let's go ahead and give this a run okay so the display is displaying zero okay we already got one here you see as soon as we go to one we've got also a one we've got a two here then we also displaying a two and our pwm duty circle is increasing as well okay so we got a four four is also being displayed so that is basically how you can uh, display your analog data right from your conversion onto an lcd uh, onto uh, a seven segment display now as you can see that we are not displaying the decimal part so this will only be uh, possible if we connect an lcd display so that is why Please tune in on to the next tutorial where we're going to basically set up an LCD display to display the, the analog data coming from our converter here. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, as always, please give us the thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel. That will be highly appreciated. Until next time, cheers.